Welcome to QuickSeph Studio tutorial videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import and view a DICOM and adjust the histogram settings. And the histogram settings are a very important part of displaying the DICOM properly. All machines are different, so different machines need different histogram settings. So to begin with, here's a folder with DICOM slice files. Um, our QuickSeph Studio supports DICOM slice file formats, where you get a folder with many of these small .dcm files. You can see in this folder there's almost 500 files. There's also a DICOM directory file that you could load as well. So I can either you know, select all the files and drag and drop them into our QuickSeph Studio window. I could drag and drop this whole folder into the QuickSeph Studio window, or I can drag and drop this DICOM directory file into the QuickSeph Studio window. They will all result in importing this DICOM data. So I'm going to go into Studio right now and make a new patient file. Here's the new patient file, and I'll go ahead and just grab this full folder and drag and drop it right on the patient file window. And it's importing the DICOM files now. When it finishes, it's going to present me with a preset selector. So I'm done with this DICOM data now, closing that window. Here's our different presets. So this is a live representation of your DICOM data. This is just how your DICOM data will look when you import it. And we're looking for one that's not too blown out, not too bright, not too dark. I kind of like this uh, bone four. Now this is just bone. Over here we have just skin. And then over here we have both skin and bone. I'm going to go to both in a moment, but to begin with, I'm going to start with just bone. So I like this one, bone four. Uh, sorry, eight. Yeah, this bone four. Apply. So there's the one I chose. So you can see it's slightly askew. Often the data will be a bit askew um, because the patient isn't maybe sitting straight in the chair. So to calibrate this, all we're doing is lining up the orbitale and the hinge axis to make it look like one. So I'm going to do something like that. And then I can see that looks pretty straight on, that looks pretty straight on to me. That looks pretty good. There's a little bit of that uh, tilt forward and back you can do. There's these different tools. So that's zoom in and out. This one is pan, just to move it around. And then this is your rotate around the different axes. And there we go. That looks pretty darn good to me. So to me, that looks straight on. Now, if I wanted to trace this, I would just click freeze dry. Clicking freeze dry will create a lateral frontal and submental vertex x-ray, place them in your import section and it will calibrate them so they're ready to trace. If you use freeze dry, you do not need to manually calibrate these. But of course, before we freeze dry this, we need the skin, the upper and lower profile. So go back to the presets button and now using that, you know, um, we've already calibrated it, kind of straightened it. Now we're just going to apply the both, the skin. And I like to rotate these so that I see one that has, you know, where the bone isn't too blown out, but there's a nice soft um, nose. This one is a little bit more blown out than this one. To me, that one looks a little bit better. And some of these, like that skin tissue is a bit too strong or that one doesn't even have a nose tip. So I'm going to use this bone skin five. So to me, that looks pretty decent. Um, nice soft tissue. See most of my landmarks, I'm missing cell and some other ones that are not super easy to see here. But we'll just use this as a quick example. I'm going to click freeze dry, and that's going to go ahead and make this lateral, frontal, and submental vertex x-ray and place them ready to trace. There we go. There they are. They're calibrated, and I can come right into tracing and begin a tracing right now. However, let's adjust this so it's easier to see some of the landmarks. This is where histograms come in. All those presets that we were showing you, the different bone and the bone and skin presets, those are just different histograms that are saved automatically, but you can make your own. So down here we have this show histogram button. This show histogram button is actually a representation of your data. I'm going to delete them both to begin with and explain this. This kind of mountain represents your DICOM data. 
going from left to right is the density. So we have really light, dense tissue, and as we go to the right, it's heavier, dense tissue until it hits bone, until it hits teeth, until it hits like the uh, metal, if they have any braces, all the way to the right. Lightly dense to the left, more dense to the right. And the brightness of it is up, very dark at the bottom, and it gets brighter as you go up. So let me explain this by adding a little triangle. I hit the plus button to add a new one of these um, kind of transfer boxes. These represent what you see of your data. So I'm going to make just a little white triangle. So whatever area that this white triangle covers is what we're going to see. And it's going to be more bright because I moved it up. So if I move this to the left, you can see that's very lightly dense tissue. And as I move this to the right, I'm seeing more dense tissue. And now we're starting to get to bone, and bone covers more area, so you kind of need to spread that out to see more of the bone. Right, and then we're getting to the most dense tissues there, where we have, um, I believe this one, uh, this patient has some braces here, and some fillings, right? So the rest of that is just braces and fillings. Okay, so we'll delete this, and now see if I choose a preset again, it's just going to apply, like I'm going to choose this middle one, all the presets are is these different transfers here, are these different transfer windows. Um, so let's do a different one, you'll see. Try this one, see it just does a different one. Okay, so I'm going to make my own, but starting from the one I liked. So let's go back to this bone skin five. Yeah, nice light nose, but to me the bone's a little too bright. So I'm gonna take this one, I like to pull this down to the bottom. So there's my skin. Nice skin. I want my skin to be blue. So I'm going to double click this little triangle. And there. Nice bright blue skin. And then this is my bone. I can individually, each one of these points, change the color. So let's say I want my bone to be more of like a, a dark orange. Alright, something like this. And then, um, Let's remove this one. Let's spread this out a bit more. I'm getting a little too bright. We can bring these down, brightness some. Pull away. I have a little too much color. Okay, so see, I colored the bone, I colored the skin, and boy, doesn't sell a pop now. We, you know, before I wasn't able to really see that well. I can sure see it well now. Now, of course, I can do other adjustments. Hey, maybe I want a little bit, you know more structure here in the bone, a bit brighter. I mean, this really is for you to play with and every x-ray machine is different. So it's really key to be able to edit this histogram to make it the way that you like and the way your uh, DICOM uh, machine is taking these. Or if you work with a certain lab, they're probably gonna supply you ones that are pretty similar. So once you have a preset that you like, you can save this preset. So I'm gonna save it. And when I choose save, I get to go to custom and I get to save it as a new one. And I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name this uh, my, uh, we'll call this our, you know, demo color preset. And it's gonna go in the custom category, save. So now you can see if I go to presets and I go to custom, I have my demo custom preset. You can see I've done a few of these in the past. <laughs> Um, if you like this preset too, you can make the preset default. All the default is going to do is when you load a new DICOM and a new patient file, it'll automatically apply this default rather than asking you. It doesn't stop you from clicking the preset and choosing something else, but it'll just automatically apply that preset for you. Please play around with the histograms. It takes some work with them. Um, again, you can highlight any of these points and hit the delete key to in delete any of these individual circles, or you can highlight the whole transfer function here and hit delete and it'll delete the whole entry, this whole selected entry. And you can hit plus to add new ones. Um, uh, histograms, I cannot overstate how important histograms are when you begin working with DICOMs. Um, the presets are good, but they're not going to be, you know, they won't provide everything you need. Maybe you do find a perfect preset that you like, great, but maybe you want to add some color to it, or maybe you can't see some certain landmarks well. That's where histograms come in. All right, uh, please email us or give us a call if you have any questions or need anything else. Thank you and take care.